If you suddenly spawned in a random generic low fantasy town, what would be the best way to earn a lot of money? I would just die very quickly from infection. I yeah, I, yeah. I would, uh, I would cry and sign up for a mercenary and die very quickly by hurting myself. Why would you sign up for a mercenary? Well, well, I've got no other marketable skills for for this time period. We're going to say, well, we're going to say like about, well, let's go 1066. Well, I'm not bad at art, so I would do portraits. Yeah, uh, you could do that. Yeah, yeah, you got that going on for mm-hmm. you. I or I would start like the first like caricatures. Or would people not find that funny? I think that people would take it really thick. Would they? Well, to be fair though, no, I do think medieval people had a good sense of humour because remember that whole thing with the snail knights? Yes. You know, yes. so I, I might start like caricatures. You could be a meme monster. You could do like yeah. funny artwork. Yeah. And like, you know, let's be honest with you, they love fart jokes, all that type of stuff. Yeah. It's not really hype. Like, you know, yeah. I think you Especially could Especially get... if like in the middle of the street. However, if you end up court jester, there's a slight chance of death. I'm not going to do court jester. Okay. You could. <laughs> Great, more ways for me to end up dead. <laughs> like, let's just jump into the sled. What would you guys do besides sell your pussy? Because there's really not much the modern man has to offer yeah, these I'd people. Yeah, probably end up in a harm or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's not really much most modern man can do. Do you know how to code? <laughs> Great, yes, <laughs> learn to code. <laughs> Off to the salt mines with you. Basic chemistry and medical knowledge. Set myself up as an alchemist. Be clear to the people in charge. I can't turn lead into gold or anything like that. But what I can do is check whether the stuff the other alchemists are producing is really gold or not. You don't want them to con you, do you? As a side note, I can set things up so we don't have diseases ripping through the town every few months and can get your death in childbirth way down. Bonus, I can also help you produce simple explosives. That's pretty good, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I think I could do some basic... Most people have basic medical knowledge. Okay, wash your hands, guys, trust me. Oh, okay, the thing is, are you going to get burnt as a witch? For this sort of information. Well, I want to know what time period this is, though. Okay, well, let's say, again, let's go start of the Middle Ages, 1066. Okay. Let's go then. Probably. Not... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... But if you have basic, basic medical knowledge, which most people have, you know, keep the wind clean, clean, wash your hands. If you have a cold, then, you know, wrap yourself up, sweat it out, type yeah. of thing, you know. I think you could help an awful... You know, and again... Let bread just, like mold in the back and use pens to try and get pelvis on somewhere. I know? don't I don't think Feed that's good. See, I I would I would I, I would just I would fuck that up somehow. I would end up giving someone food poisoning. <laughs> you know, okay, I got a funny story for you guys. One of my friends in skill, this was like I'm talking about in skill. Anyway, so he 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 found out somewhere that alcohol was fermented fruit, like wine and stuff. Mm-hmm. So he thought it would be great. He got a bottle of sunny day and he kept it under his bed for I'm talking like a year. Stop and I'm, I, <laughs> you guys know exactly where this is going. So he brought it out one day and sunny I sunny day, sunny day, yeah. And I mean, this was. A jug of mould. Oh. And everyone, uh, we were like, no man, don't drink that. Did he I, drink it? He took a sip of it. He's like, no man, I'm telling you, it's going to be great. And he took a sip of it and just instant, like, <laughs> Team America style vomit. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, pretty easy to mess up in some way, <laughs> shape or form. <laughs> I would go full ironic meta and ask the local blacksmith to forge me some dice. Then tell them I'm a bard who has this game called Dungeons and Dragons and chain and charge them to play it. I mean, I like the idea, but again, are you going to get known for witchcraft? Yeah, exactly. Th- this is <laughs> exactly. like you know, if people fell for it in the eighties, yeah, what are they going to like? You know, and again, it's time, like we're living in the lasses pub. Or you know what you could do? What? What would be good? Just become like like a bard, but like a storyteller. Yeah, and just tell the story of movies yeah and actually, people come from far and wide to hear your stories i mean most people know the gist of most shakespeare plays but not even shakespeare like movies not i know yeah. i know but you could like you know if there's a lot you could steal yeah like there's a lot you could you repackage could, you could like retell like the story of like the titanic oh yeah because they would understand ships and stuff like that and then make it like you were on the boat oh yeah well oh. You, uh, yeah you see the yeah. thing is you could rework most of these stories and put yourself yeah. In these situations. Yeah. Or like you could Armageddon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well Armageddon you could really really, really package it as like uh, as heaven and hell and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. You know. But you, you know be what like you know what actually storyteller? Just become a cult leader, <clears throat> form your own sect. And hopefully, oh go- yeah, and wait for the pitchforks to come yeah. after you. Yeah, I mean, so that's another way to die, James. You're just you would die instantly. I'm trying to find 
actual ways. Yeah, well, again, your ways are going to get killed as well. A lot of this stuff will... You well, will... I am a woman, so I, uh, I will again, be you're going... as a witch. <laughs> you're going to get a witch, no matter what, anyway. <laughs> uh, you've got a, a, a good percentage, what would you say, at least next year, 70% chance of doing anything and getting plans with a witch. witch. <laughs> Work in the mines. Level. Who wants to do that? <laughs> exactly. Working in a mine has got to be the Especially worst job. in medieval times. I'm telling you right now. Absolutely not. Work, working in a mine in the modern day is still kind of grim. <laughs> yeah, and we you, have safety procedures. I mean, <laughs> you do not want to be a miner back then. No. Nope. Like, you just don't. Work in the mines. Level up my swordsmanship and pilfer all the gems that somehow every single miner keeps missing. High as that possible. Do you know what happens? Okay. Have any of you guys ever watched the TV show Horrible Jobs with your man, you know, Baldock? Yes, from... yes, because a fella I know was on it. Like a family friend of ours, like from way, way back, he was oh. on it because he was a, he went right with a bike with like a water jet in the back of it and a scoop and he had to like pour his shade off the <laughs> dog shit and scoop it up and pour <laughs> what do you mean? He was like a medieval, like a Victorian era oh, car washer. Oh wait, no, this isn't the same show. It was like people having like shit jobs nowadays. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> and he literally had a shit job. <laughs> okay, no, this one was about like how horrible some of them would be. Um, I'm gonna say that like you know, see the people that were minting money, for instance. If like, I mean, the most pathetic amount goes missing, your hands and your dick are gone. Mm-hmm. Like you know, there's. Uh, the, the chances of fucking up are don't don't really sound too good to me, not gonna lie. And who are you gonna sell these gems to? You work in the I mine, know. who are you gonna sell People them to? People are gonna know the, that you've them from exactly. somewhere. Exactly. Do you, do you, you want, come out do, in your skin you like literally dicks? stained black. <laughs> like, come on. Buy myself a nice cottage outside of town, complete with blacksmithing bench. Craft you're, things from the iron I mined. You're also assuming that the nobles would sell you property and you can't just let you, you exactly. like, I'm sorry to say well, you went off the nobles okay <laughs> then go to the local library and study magic since it's low fantasy best I'll do is learn how to extinguish candles with my mind but that'll be enough to impress the locals and get a cowgirl for life <laughs> a girl, cowgirl wife <laughs> wander around forest eating random plants to get alchemy experience get dead, enough, die dead. <laughs> get enough knowledge to craft a potion of constant lactation Receive milk baths daily. I mean, this sounds very, very nice. Um, I appreciate it, but um, it's going to be a no from me, okay, yeah. man? I'm sorry. Um, I, w- I would love to believe in your idea, but I just don't see it <laughs> working very well. I'm sorry. Any modern clothing you're wearing will be seen as being of unusually fine make by fantasy standards. That, and the fact you probably look nothing like the local, should allow you to pass yourself off as a traveller from a distant land. No, you see, I look very North FC, so if this is Fantasy uh, 1066... Yeah, you, you, you'll like link in the troll. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, keep going. You can leverage this. Nobles and wealthy businessmen can be easily persuaded to entertain foreign guests, because they represent a rare source of information and goods that can be capitalised upon. This gets your foot in the door. From there, you have limited opportunity to make use of your modern day knowledge to impress them and convince them to give you a chance to demonstrate your usefulness. From here, you just have to help them build something novel that they've never thought of, stealing from the vast wealth of modern day ideas and culture. Make even a single successful new invention for them and a lot of money will stand to be made as long as they think you can do it again and you'll be well taken care of. This all depends on three facts, however. The first is that you don't just get murdered before you can talk to anyone important. (laughs) The second is that you can actually communicate your situation and ideas to the locals. And the third is that you're not a completely useful fuck, useless fuck, and you actually know how to do slash make something useful. Not, oh, I I could Google it if I wanted to, slash, I could bring a book with me if I had a warning. I mean, you, right now, with no further research needed, know how to make something to make your fortune. So this is where I fucked up. I chose to do electronic engineering instead of mechanical. And I don't think I can, (laughs) I don't think I can make a power plant. I don't think uh, my electronic knowledge would help very much. If only you could have, bring like a light bulb and a couple of wires in your pocket and then plug it into your spud. Again, maybe you'd get done for witchcraft. I think I think machinery 
would speak to these people a lot more. Mm-hmm. Electronics would, Freak again, get, yeah, it, it, I don't think it would work very well. Imagine if you were sent back and you still had your smartphone in your pocket. Um, imagine if you had the, you know the app from like back in 2007 where everybody looked like they were drinking beer? And, <laughs> yeah. Imagine if you, <laughs> that's the only thing you had in your phone. You were like, look, like, ah, endless beer. Ah. Well, oh, look at this magic tricks. Woo. <laughs> Witch. Witch. <laughs> yeah, again, this is, we need a witch meter for this for this video, so we do Right, you slimy, huey maggots. We has been working hard at Nekpedia to get the bestest little people that monies can buy. We got all the boys here. We got the boys, the lizard boys, uh, vampire boys, all the boys over at Nekpedia. Oh, we also got some pretty girls too. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't really make out which ones are boys and which ones are girls sometimes. <laughs> but oh, anyway, I need more money to get more darker, so get on over and order some now, you filthy pigs. Every video that we post, we're going to be giving away all of our homebrew content to one lucky winner. Every video. All you have to do to be in with a chance to win is to be subscribed, leave a comment, and like this video. And today's lucky winner is... This guy! Well done! Well done! To claim your prize, just send an email to neckbeardiacontact at gmail.com. Now let's get back to the video. Beyond the basic survival needs of seeing if there's a local humanitarian church or other groups giving handouts enough to let you survive the initial entry and adapting to the f- local food slash sicknesses, you need information. Look up the local trade guilds, merchants, blacksmiths and craftsmen and see what, what if any modern ideas or knowledge you might be able to leverage. Things like assembly line production. What we might consider basic math could be the sort of unheard of things that only wizards know. Charcoal water purification. Aqua culture slash simple hydrophonics artificial pollination plant grafting uh, actually you know what I, honestly assembly line production mm-hmm. would probably be the easiest one that i'm sure most people understand and how it can i, I honestly i think you could really yeah really do a lot with that because it's such a simple concept yeah. like get a lot of people they all do just with one, one job, specific job it. and they do that one job and then you hand it to the next person mm-hmm. they do that one little job and you keep going and keep going it's amazing that no one ever thought about that but again back then it was more like craftsmanship and, and stuff like skills <laughs> yeah exactly and the one person does the entire thing, thing instead of that one specific yeah point you know until you can start to get pc levels or pick up magic the only big money makers you'll have access to you are going to be remarkably similar to the way you get in in the modern day world that you've come from. Well, unless you get damn lucky and get picked up by someone of money as a curiosity or entertaining fool slash storyteller. <laughs> pretty much. So, uh, I was a cleaner for, I was a kitchen porter for seven years so I've got pretty much the worst job imaginable cleaning latrines. Mm-hmm. Sounds, well, I'm, I'm going to assume they have some form of latrine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. They're, go- they're going to have some form of latrine. That doesn't sound like a great job for you, Megan. Working. What about making food like they've never heard of? Well, you need to have the ingredients. Yes, but the ingredients that they had back then, maybe you could make something different. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Yeah, okay. You can maybe... Well, what, what could you do? Could you do pancakes? So yeah, it's vomit. flour and egg. Do you need sugar, though? Sugar is going to no, be hard to come up. No, you don't really need sugar. Yeah. No? Well, well, I suppose that's the biggest problem. It's... You could make different things. I need my my herbs and spices. <laughs> <laughs> my herbs and spices are going to be... Well, the up. thing is, you know what they look... Well, I know what they look like, so you see if you can get them off the land. I just fuck some nettles in, sure, and call it a day. <laughs> don't be like that. Nettle you know. soup's actually quite nice. No, I don't. I'm not buying that. No, okay. No, I'm not. I'm just not going to go for. You know, I only found this out the other day. Americans don't have nettles. I thought nettles were literally everywhere in the world. Well, they call it poison ivy. Oh, is that what you call mm-hmm. it? It's po- no, is it the same? I thought poison ivy and nettles were different. No, I, it's, I think it's near enough the same thing. Is it? Oh, they call it poison ivy, but we call it nettles. Oh, so it, okay, so it's a different plant, is it? But it's got a different... It's a, it has the same effect as yeah. nettles. Oh, yeah, alright, okay. okay. Enlist in the town guard or something. Chances are I'm taller and healthier than the average person in the town. I'll say I'm a traveller who's been robbed. That's why I'm new and have no money or anything. I'll try using my knowledge of modern police practices, like fingerprints matching and facial composite sketching. Alternatively, I can draw so I can ask to be the apprentice of a local artist. Honestly, that's such an idea. Fingerprints. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fingerprints. Fing- fingerprints. And what do you need? Like just ink. Duck. Literally just ink yeah. and uh, maybe a magnifying glass. Yeah. And Again, way- magnifying glasses. That's something really simple. That you know. Do you make- know how to make a magnifying glass? Yeah. 
Megan, it's actually not that difficult if you just look. They've got glass back then, mm -hmm. you know. I think you know. I think it's something that with enough time and practice, it could be achieved. And if yeah. you can achieve, think okay, better than that, a telescope. A telescope would be god tier back then. We given... could not have had something like that with <sighs> ships. Or is that like the seventeenth century? <laughs> that it comes about a wee bit. Well, again, if we're going, don't to forget. Text... I'm thinking like oh, like ten, around ten sixty six era, but. It's, it is, is low low fantasy. Ah, uh, so I suppose they do have magic. And also, if it is low fantasy, and let's say there's spells of like lightning stuff like that, would they not have already found out like some electricity? It depends on. Okay, so I, what I'm gonna say is, it depends on how common. And if it's low, there's gonna be very, very few spellcasters yeah, in the world. Probably. So therefore, the vast if majority. It is, it's basic spells. Yeah, it's it's not like I, I I like to think of like Lord of the Rings where the magic is a bit more yeah. subtle yes. and it doesn't yes. actually it's not like fireballs and stuff like that it's a lot more hope and yeah. you, do, you, do you get what I mean though yeah. it's a lot more metaphysical yeah. uh, it's a lot more hidden yeah. magic it exists but it's not easy to comprehend yes. or really it. come across maybe a bit of like divine intervention to a certain extent yes you know <gasps> you know what'd be good well firework. Fire, well, if you can do fireworks, you can do uh, firearms. Yeah, but fireworks are easier to make. I think, yeah, well, it is. Than trying to make well, an actual firearm. So what I would do is, I, if I was to do fireworks, I would use it to scare horses and stuff. That's what I think would be the best way to go about it. Or just or scare. scare invaders. Yeah. Just in general. Just fire them up. Make a big make a big show of it. It depends. It depends on how well you can spook them, though, if they're not willing to... I don't know. What do, what do you guys think? There's some good ones here. Um, firearms are pretty easy to make, though. Firearms aren't all fire that... Fireworks. Oh, fireworks. Are pretty yeah. easy to make. Yeah. Well, they're not too bad. Like, yeah. you know, and I do think you could definitely do something yeah. with them, but you want to level that up. You know what I mean? I would like to level that up in what, some get way. Get a musket. Yeah. Well, look, if I, if, <laughs> all I'm saying is, hey, I think a cannon would be easier. I'm honestly going to say a cannon's mm. probably going to be easier to make than. Or would they have had crossbows? Yeah. They yeah, they would have had crossbows. Because crossbows I know are dead had, easy. I know they would have had. Oh, you know what? Actually, I know exactly what I'd do. I would do a repeating crossbow. That's a, like uh, the slingshot jail. You, Let me show you its features. features. Yeah, th <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly what I would do. I, I think, um, no, I would do a repeating crossbow. Yeah. And that's like, or a repeating bow in some way. Yeah. And I think that would be the easiest thing that I think I could genuinely make myself or I could show someone. Yeah. Exactly. It's like, right, if you just cut the pieces out and I, if we got a bit of glue, I think we could do this. Yeah. I, oh, no, you I cut almost, the pieces out though. <laughs> yeah, you, you just make sure it's all measured up there correctly for me. <laughs> what do you mean measured up? They have math. They do have math, Megan. Look at buildings and stuff. They've got oh, math. They, like, you know, like, I, this is one of the things as well. I always fear whenever I talk about um, people from back, um, people from the past. I think a lot of the times people underestimate their ability. I honestly do believe if we got a cave man and we brought him, say we get a BB, BB cave, cave baby, right? Say cave get, baby. Yeah, let's, let's say we go ahead and we kidnap cave baby and we educate them in this day and age. I'm going to say on, on average they're probably going to be more intelligent than the average human is today. Yeah. If they were given the opportunity. Because they have more instincts. They have, they have more. I feel like. Their ancestral. I feel like. <laughs> So the weak die, yeah. you know what I mean, and the gene pill is so much smaller, mm -hmm. and you do not have room for any dead ends. Would yeah. that be fair to say? And this is why I always feel like um, it's easy for us to be like, "Oh, these people were stupid; these people were backwards." Whenever we but have they were all educated, like we were, yeah, exactly. If we, you know, or in some ways, I think they might like actually back be... then they had the means. If they were given the means to do, if stuff... they were given the education and the means. To, let's say what I don't know, build a computer and they were given the education back then they would be able to do it but I think they, they didn't have the education well it's, it's a it's a building blocks it's mm -hmm. a building blocks that you're sitting upon and we are sitting upon all of all of humanity's progress we're mm -hmm. sitting on top of at the minute and being like here we're, we're so much smarter than these people and they these people have so much less to work with this just is what I at, this is what look, I love about the Romans. way look at the way they think of their medical yeah medicine you know like leeches and well they didn't know stuff. any better exactly they didn't know any better but if they had education the way that we do It'd be the exact same. Yeah, it's a it's a hard topic to come across. One of the ones I I think we're going to end here, but this one I've said this before. The p biggest problem I've got with slavery is I believe slavery retards progress. Think of the Romans. What happens if the Romans, for whatever reason, decided we can't have slaves anymore? 
uh, for some moral reason they say like slavery that's done and dusted but what do you do whenever you need something done back then well if you just throw more slaves at the problem eventually they'll get the job done mm -hmm. whereas if you don't have them then you have to come up with new ideas and ways new of doing things, to do things yeah. exactly exactly does that make sense mm -hmm. and like you know look at the the british this is it's why like I... being a manager in work it's like i'm not gonna do the work Let yeah i've got more staff get the but staff whenever the st whenever you're low staff the manager has to jump in <laughs> yeah exactly exactly <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've got to get good. Um, this is one thing I like about the British in particular. Like, you know, they decide slavery, we don't like it anymore. It's it's a very dirty practice, that's not. And who was the first country to industrialise? England. You know, and I think mm -hmm. there's definitely a cause and effect on that. Uh, yeah. I don't know how magic would play into this. So magic's a I bit of a... Know. It's too wild to be able to actually pinpoint and be able to say anything for certainty. The problem with magic is it changes physics at a moment's notice. Yeah. How do you progress when physics can be bent. Yeah, how do you progress with like maths and science whenever they're literally bending physics? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it, it, it's something that I, I, and I think that's why the whole um, magic gets stuck in the Middle Ages trope, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that's part yeah. of it. Anyway, look guys, I really want to hear your thoughts. I know what it. their thoughts are going to be. This is low fantasy. They're all going to get a goblin. <laughs> Goblin wifeys for life. Um, like that's. <laughs> I'm going to assume the goblins aren't that nice looking, and they're very smelly. Yeah, very smelly little goblins. But if you give them a wash and put makeup and brush their hair, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've seen some women that look like that. <laughs> not gonna lie, but look, I really want to hear your thoughts and opinions. I know we kind of went more into the realistic side than the little fantasy side, but. I know I have a hard time. I have a hard time linking the magic in. Yeah, it's something it. that I don't really... Linking like the fantasy side of it in because... Well, it's kind of hard. It's yeah, not, well, because you know, magic isn't real, so we can't really comprehend that in, like, day-to-day -day life. Every, so. <laughs> every, well, every, every fantasy setting has different ways of treating magic. Some of them like magic, some of them deep mistrust mm -hmm. magic. Mm -hmm. what, what's the time you've been sent to? What's the city? What's the country? Yeah, so you, you, know, won't, you won't actually be able to know what you can do. Also, are, are, are these people speaking like an older version of your language? That's the thing. Can we even communicate, communicate with them? You know, there's so much going on. Like and James the, would just rock up. James would just rock up and be right, mate. Well, <laughs> no, but, no, but think of it like this. Ha, some older people, like, you know, see, like, people in, like, the 80s and 90s, it's kind of hard to talk to them sometimes mm -hmm. because they've got such a cultural different viewpoint. Mm -hmm. You know, time's up by 10. Mm -hmm. And how, she how, was trying to talk to my 90 year old grandmother yeah, on you're, YouTube. You're, yeah, she, lo she loves it. So but she I'm does. Mary loves it. Yeah, she finds it very interesting, so she does. She finds it fascinating. Anytime I'm with her and James in there, she's like, very. I think she just evil. smiles and goes, haha, that's lovely, very dear. Well, she asks me stuff, and then I don't really. The problem is, I don't have the words to be able to explain to her. Woman's 90. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know what I mean? Like, if you're 90, it's kind of internet, all that type of stuff. There's not really much context to yeah. work with. <laughs> you know, she understands teletext. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure no one outside of the UK did. Did did do Americans have did? I don't Amer even think they did. Was it teletext? You got your holidays off teletext. Was teletext just a UK thing? It must have been. Yeah. Anyway, look, anyway, guys. Look, let we've us talked know what you enough. Think down below. While you're down there, check out the links to the website, the models, subclasses, all that good shit. Hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post a video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.